created or edited. Then there are partially system generated fixed field. Um, the leader is kind of the beginning of the record that tells the computer, hey, there's a new record and sort of um, it's basically created by the computer. So the cataloger doesn't have to worry about the leader too much. Um, then there is the 008 coded general information and that's what we're mainly going to talk about. The 008, uh, as the computer reads it, is just one long string of characters. Um, as you'll see on the screen, the OCLC connection interface breaks all these down into individual fixed fields, which help the cataloger know what information goes in each field. In local systems, this 008 could be handled differently. Um, in our system here at the Commission, this is a screenshot of that. Um, it appears in the record as one long string, but then if you double click on it, it can be broken out into each individual field, and you can see that it tells you what should go in each field, whether it deals with illustrations, or the dates, or whether or not it has an index, things like that. And we'll talk about the fixed fields in detail in one of the last sessions of the class, but I just wanted to kind of talk about them for a little bit now. As you can see, the information that appears in that long string of characters does it is the same as what is in each individual field. For example, what I have highlighted there in yellow are NYU, which is the code to say that this was published in New York, and the ENG code, which is the code to say that this um, item is in English. So you can see that they appear in the individual fields in the OCLC connection interface, and then they also show up in that long string of characters that the computer reads. Here's another example for a visual material item. Um, that TMAT field, the V, tells you that it's a video recording, and the tech field, the L, stands for live action, so it's live actors, not animation. And you can see that that V and L show up in that long string of characters.